here with Jail Hyde, world youth champion, 110 meter hurdles, 13.13. You saw it coming? Well, after the first few rounds, after running, I was saying to myself, of course, it can be possible. But going into the championship, I had a little doubt in my mind because I was ranked 10th and we have at least only 13.3. So I was basically saying just to the finals, you know, if I get to the finals, I'll be happy with that. But after going to the rounds, as I said, I really pushed myself and it motivated me after running each round and clearing each round. You ran 13.22 in the semi, surprised a lot of people. What, what was going through your mind after that race? Well, before the race, while I was walking out, the kid from USA was running and I was watching him. I was That's watching Humphrey. his rhythm. Yes, I was watching his rhythm, his rhythm. Like I was saying, if him do that, me can do that because I'm a better redler and I'm faster than him. So, you know, when I heard the gun, I was just, it was just a matter of get going, get going and clearing the 10 hurdles and, you know, go easing up through the line. And I was surprised at about the 13 2 2. You said your heart was beating through your, your chest. Um, normally, doesn't normally sound like a, a very confident athlete, you're normally very confident. Why were you that nervous? Well, lining up against this kid who is six foot four mm -hmm. as a world leading time, of course, mm -hmm. you have to be nervous. Mm -hmm. You know, when it started, I remarked, hear everybody screaming, mm -hmm. making nice. I was just focused and keep my head straight. Mm -hmm. You know, and it, well, seeing the height kind of intimidated me, mm -hmm. but then again, I'm a strong person and I pulled through. Have, have you ever hurdled over that height before? Is this the same, same, same height as, as champs? champs. Mm -hmm. Alright, tell us, speaking of champs, you told us prior to champs that this year will be basically a barometer year for you as it relates to choosing between track and field and football. Now you're a champ and you have a gold medal at a World Youth Games. I'm sure your mind is made up that it's track and field. I assume. No. It still doesn't happen. change anything. Still Continue my same routine. Manning Cup until December, race, mm -hmm. and then start training again in January mm -hmm. for the Youth Olympics. Hopefully, I'll be chosen for that. So, I guess you'll be still busy because yeah. Manning Cup training actually started a couple months ago. No. Yes, mm -hmm. but I won't I will be start, I won't train until um, September. Mm -hmm. So, I'll have time to race. Mm -hmm. All right, Daddy. I'm sure he must be very happy at your accomplishment. Yes, I speak to him every day, every morning I wake up, you know, you know the time the zone, my like different he stays up and he speaks to me on Skype, everything. Make sure that I'm alright, giving me words of encouragement. And of course he's a very happy camper. So yes, I'm happy for that. Alright, thank you very much, guys. Thanks.